Welcome back folks, it's your boy Editor Matt. In today's video, I wanna show you my RED setup. As you may know, I have a RED and that's what I shoot my YouTube videos on. You're probably thinking, why the heck would you do something like that? That doesn't make any sense. Why don't you use like an EOS R or a A7 III? And the answer for that is because I don't have those cameras. I got a RED. Now shooting on a fancy camera probably sounds pretty nice. Sure, you can get good image quality, but you have to deal with things like no autofocus, large file sizes, and a camera that's a pain in the butt to move. So I thought it'd be interesting to show you guys a little, little tour of this little production here. Yeah, we can call it that. So here is my desk and here is my camera. So I actually run my audio through my Premiere just using the voiceover settings. I have this condenser mic on a mic stand running into my H4n which goes into my computer. And then I also run a aux cable into the camera. So I shoot 24 frames per second with a 800 ISO. I typically shoot around f 2.2 to 2.8 depending on uh, the light. I always have a 180 degree shutter angle. Um, I typically shoot around 5600K for white balance, uh, but that doesn't really matter too much because I, I usually play around with it in Premiere. My resolution, I shoot 5K 2 to 1. Sometimes I do 5K HD or uh, 5K full frame. But uh, I've been playing around with that, seeing what looks good. Now the big thing here is that I use a 20 to 1 compression ratio. So the main thing here is I don't want to be filling up full hard drives on a YouTube video, so I need to keep it as compressed as possible. That should allow me, if I do this, time remaining, that should allow me to record for 2 hours and 20 minutes on a 256 gigabyte card, which is quite a bit. If I was using a lighter compression. If I was gonna actually shoot something on my red, I would use a nine to one compression, and that only gives me an hour and two minutes. So that is quite the difference. Um, so 20 to one compression is nice. Now you do lose out on a lot of data in your highlights and your shadows, and it does increase the noise in the videos, but for YouTube, I'm not really too concerned about any of that. I mean, everyone's watching on different sized screens and colors are gonna be whack everywhere. So whatever, it's all good. That's that's the way I do it. Now for my lens, I pretty much shoot everything with my 24 millimeter 1.4. This is a great lens. Although I'd like to get the 18 to 35 and see how that does with the red. I also have the red side grip here. Uh, this allows me to actually change focus on the camera. Um, it's not very useful for this setup, but if I'm using the camera handheld, that makes a big difference. Now around back, I have the red brick battery with the base expander. This is just the standard base expander. It has your aux jack, it has like your data in and out, HDMI out, SDI out, and DCN. Now I had to go with the seven inch monitor. This thing is an absolute beauty for seeing yourself. And it's also great for catching focus when I'm filming handheld. Now for lighting, thankfully I'm borrowing one of Maddie's uh, old storm panels and I bounce that off the ceiling slash wall uh, down towards the side of my face. Now when I'm done shooting my video, I import it right to the hard drive on my computer and pull it into Premiere and I sync the audio. I usually give myself a clap or something to, to sync the audio. Clap three but for the most part, I can pretty much see with the waveforms where my voice is. Now for my audio, I actually started to do something a little bit different. Usually I was just recording right in Premiere using the direct input of the microphone, but Nvidia just released their RTX voice noise suppression software. So let's do a quick test to see how this works and I'll probably be using this for the rest of my videos because this PC makes a lot of fan noise and I can't really control it. So let's do a quick test to see if this works. All right, future Matt here. I wanna do a better test because I've seen some pretty impressive stuff with the software. So I got myself a hair dryer and we're gonna turn it on and see if we can talk and uh, if RTX voice will cut it out. So I got this thing plugged in, give me a sec. So this is me talking with the hair dryer on. Um, I'm looking at the waveforms. On the camera, it looks like it's peaking. On the computer, it looks like it's, it's very quiet. Here's the, the test. This is me talking with RTX off, and this is me talking with RTX on. How do I sound? Does it make a big difference? All right, let's take a look. So I just listened to the audio in Premiere, and man, it is pretty insane. It's actually pretty incredible, the fact that you can completely cut out the hair dryer and uh, still hear my voice. Now it is cutting back the quality of my voice significantly, and I kind of sound like a robot or something, but, that's pretty dang impressive. That was also a hair dryer right beside the microphone. Like that's a pretty intense 
scenario. I think in most cases when you use this, maybe it's like, you know, a PC in the background, refrigerator, central air, like those are more realistic environments. And I think you're gonna get much, much better outcome. So I'm actually, I'm still using RTX. As of right now, the software is still in beta. So I'm really excited to see where this could go because it's already so impressive. All right, back to yesterday's Matt. So obviously I didn't buy this red to make YouTube videos. This purchase was an investment for my own freelance business as well as renting it out uh, when I'm not filming. But since I'm home, I'm thankful I'm able to make some videos with it and put out some content for you guys. I appreciate all you guys watching my videos. I've had a few people ask me about my red setup so I thought I would make this one. Plus, you know, you gotta, you gotta flex sometimes, you know? Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. But you should subscribe so you can watch the next one. That, that's a good idea. Yeah. Cool.